Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles. Today we're gonna show you how to take off this outer fairing off of this Rogue Glide. This Rogue Glide is a 2020 model. It is a Milwaukee 8 model. Um, this removal and installation is gonna be basically the same going back to the 15 models uh, with the vents. If you have a model earlier than that, it'll be similar, but not exactly the same. The first thing I wanna do is cover up this rear fender just in case I drop something, we don't nick our fender. So we'll throw a cover on it. Then we're gonna get a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna pull out our four screws from our windshield, take our windshield off. So we're gonna take all four of these all the way out, even though to take the windshield off, you just have to loosen them up. We're gonna take all four of these out and then we're going to put two of them back in in just a second. So keep two of them handy. So the next thing you have to do is pull this vent assembly off and there are no hidden fasteners or anything like that. You grab the front of it, you just give it a good yank up and it'll come off right in your hands. We need to take our two uh, windshield screws that we saved and just loosely put them back in uh, these two spots here on the fairing. This is gonna be for later when we have the whole thing loose that so doesn't fall down. These are just gonna be what keeps it from falling on our front fender. And then since we're up here, the next thing we need to do, you can see the, these little plugs here. These are for the turn signals down here. We need to unplug them. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is take our speaker grills off. If you have a little hook tool like this, it's very helpful. Otherwise, you can pry with a small screwdriver. Just be careful not to scratch your inner fairing. What we're dealing with here is two clips that go down and clip in on the inside of the speaker grill. On the outside, there's a tab going this way. So if you have a hook tool, put it through here and don't put a long one through here because you'll poke a hole in your speaker. Once you get it through there, you just pull up on the speaker grill and it should pop right off. So the next thing we need to do is take these screws out right here. This is a T30 Torx. We're gonna remove one on each side of the fairing. Now that we have our T30s out from behind our speaker grills, we're gonna move down to the side here with a 3 16 Allen, and we're gonna pull these screws out of this turn signal housing, one on each side. So the last couple screws we have to take out are in the bottom corners of the fairing here. There's, there's two T25s. We're gonna take out the bottom one on each side. Once those screws are out, this outer fairing will essentially be loose. The only thing keeping it um, up there is gonna be the two windshield screws we just ran partway in in the beginning. So we're gonna take those two T25s out, one on each side, and then we'll be able to basically just pull the fairing right off. You can kind of see here it's loose. So I'm just gonna put my hand on the front of it here. This headlight's gonna stay. And I'm gonna pull the two windshield screws out and not let go of the outer fairing. Once we get these two out, this is gonna come right off. A good thing to do is have a predetermined location what you're gonna do with this before you take it off. And obviously don't lay it paint side down. Otherwise, it should just pull straight out like this, kind of come down. Bob's your uncle, outer fairing is off. So you're free to do any kind of maintenance work or stereo upgrades, perfect time to do that. Okay, so now that you're done working on whatever you were working on inside your fairing, probably your stereo, uh, we'll go ahead and put this back on. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to hang it from two temporary windshield screws. So we'll get this thing slid on here, we'll get the windshield screws in, and then we're gonna move down to where our turn signals were and start those bolts. You just have to make sure that this is seated all the way up against the inner fairing 
And when that is, this bolt hole will be lined up down here. We can take our Allen screw and we're just gonna get it started one on either side. We're not gonna tighten them up at this time. So we're gonna get this one started. We're going to the other side and get the other one started. All right, after we have those Allen screws started, we're gonna get our T25s we took out from the bottom of this fairing. We're gonna get those started in each side. Again, these are just finger tight. We're not tightening them up all the way yet. Now we're gonna put these T30s in the speaker well, one on each side, and we are gonna tighten these up. We're gonna to torque these anywhere from 20 to 30 inch pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and put ours at 25 inch pounds. Next, we're gonna move down to these lower bolts in the fairing to the T25s, and we're gonna to torque them anywhere from eight to 15 inch pounds. I'm gonna put ours about 12 inch pounds. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and torque these bolts that are holding our signals on here, 48 to 60 inch pounds. I'm gonna put ours about 55 inch pounds. We're done torquing those. We're gonna move back around here to the front and start buttoning this up. So the speaker grills only fit on one way, but you need to put this tab in the outside first and then snap the inside down. So the next thing we have to do is take these two screws out before we put our vent on. And we wanna make sure the seal on the vent that butts up to the windshield is on there straight. Should be, unless you got a problem. Sound. So now we just got to put our windshield on, put our four Phillips back in there. Uh, remember, you don't have to gorilla arm these Phillips down. They are, the torque spec is somewhere between eight and 16 inch pounds. Uh, it'd be a little tough to measure that with a Phillips. So just use your best judgment and don't blow these out. simple as that. Not too scary. Pretty simple uh, removal and installation. As always, have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles. Yeah.